Hello guys, welcome hey. back to our channel. Today we're watching... What is that? What we're watching? <laughs> Freaking... The title is uh, This Thing, released in 1973. Man, we're going back in the history again. Yeah, we used Is to this watch... a horror movie or something? I don't know. I have no idea about it. I think Paul Newman is here, but I don't really know oh. him. But he's gonna... His name is quite famous. Okay. I think he Probably it's not gonna be horror. I mean, kinda, I think I have miss a guess. going I, back in time. I think this is thriller. Thriller. Like, I don't know to be honest. It's just okay. we're gonna blindly react to when this I thing. I love blind react. I yeah, love but hopefully, because I'm like, whoa. What hopefully, is this? we're gonna be pleased. We're gonna be surprised with the film. Because if if we don't know anything about the film, I'm really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, annoying to it's watch. Such a treat. Uh, some people uh, they would say like, oh, but you should at least know what the heck you're watching. Like you know, like a. And an inside, but that's Psychosis. the whole point. Yeah. Leave because uh, sometimes they put like a description on the movie, uh, and Jane went to the woods, found some mushrooms, and then poisoned everybody. That's the plot. That's a freaking plot. Why would you read that? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Yes. For Marianne, trailers is um, nope. useless for him. No more. Well, anyway, guys, we're excited to find out Let's what go. this movie is all about. But if you're new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to the notification bell. Exactly. Let's jump into it. 1936. 1936. Looks like we cleared over 10 grand this week. We cleared 22 here. Sure, so looks like you're bringing up the rear granger. Oh, I just got the count. I'll put the take on the 415. We'll be waiting. What next? What are they doing? I don't know. It's like betting or something. I don't know. Take this up to or stocks or something. Hey, you there! Stop! Hey, you! Stop that man! Stop him! Stop that man! He's got all my money! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Uh -huh. I'll get you someday for this! Sucker egg! Don't let him get away, he's got my wallet! Who else? He's got all my money! We got it! Give what it happened? Me. Give it to me, please. He get you with a knife? What? Why? What Are happened? You nuts carrying a water around like that in a neighborhood like this? No wonder you got hit. Ah. You ain't going nowhere. Oh. Let me see. I got her. I gotta run some slots down in West Bend for a mob here. They gave okay. him till four to come up with the cash. They don't get it. I'm dead. Oh, okay, that's why there's one go to the hospital. I'll give you and your friend a hundred bucks to deliver it for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, pal. I'm gonna maybe help you get fixed up, get to a doctor, but I ain't about to walk into no knife for you. How about you? All you gotta do is to put it in the dough slot. There's five thousand dollars there. And here's a hundred bucks for you. Okay, old man, I'll make your drop for you. And don't worry. You can trust me. Maybe you'll take the whole month. Yeah. Hey. If those goons decide to search you, you ain't gonna get far carrying it there. Bag or something? How about a handkerchief? Here's a handkerchief. You got any more? You better give it all to me if you want to keep it. They think I've been holding out on. Hurry, will you? Ain't a tough guy in the world that's gonna frisk you there. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. And he has got envelope money also from his job, or I don't know, from the office bar. Maybe we'll put that one. I don't know. Oh, this Why is so funny? I just made the world's easiest five grand. What? He wants to take it for himself. Seriously? <gasps> that guy tricked him. What the? That heck? guy tricked him. Ha <laughs> ha! Do it together, man. Wait a minute, so even that guy with the knife is maybe with them? I think they're with them. What? It's a hustle. <laughs> this is next level, man. Okay, okay. Whoa. Oh, it's bigger. Yeah. Man, and it's not his money. Yeah. Freaking out. Shopping now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, look at him, man. For a lady. Yeah. Crystal! Let her draw on. You want to get out of here tonight or come into some dough? <laughs> and some gambling. Hard times is all. Everything's Jake now, though. Three grand on the red, Jimmy. Is that awesome? No, I feel lucky. Come on. Nah, you're going to regret it. Who does that? Who did that? Twenty-two black. Tough luck, kid. 3,000. That was stupid, do I? Why you do that? Thanks, have a good evening, hooker. Next time you want to spend 50 bucks on me, mail it. Oh, <laughs> she gets so stressed. Yeah. <laughs> Who would bet 3,000? Uh, I know some people. 
I know. I think the biggest I ever bet was 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. Tom Matola, he was drunk in a dive in Joliet. He never got on the train. Mm -hmm. He lost it to a couple of con artists on his way out of the spot. How much? 11,000. 11,000. The guy spent 3,000 already. Okay, I better get on the phone to New York. See what the big Mick wants to do about it. Mm -hmm. Can I talk to Mick? I'm busy. All right. It's important. I had a little trouble in Chicago today. Uh oh, game off. What is this, like a mob? Think so. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, he's the guy with the knife. Yeah. How much did you lose? All of it. In one goddamn night? Mm. Did you be no pimp? Hey, what the hell's eating you? I've blown money before. I'm getting too old for this racket. You hang on too oh. long and you start embarrassing yourself. We just took off today in the biggest score we've ever had. I've been looking for this one all my life, Johnny. Now I have a chance to step out when I'm ahead. Mm -hmm. For him, it's enough. I got an old friend in Chicago named Henry Gondorf. So this is what they're doing for a living? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, oh. 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 You tied into a loaded mark on 47th across the Maxis. If he hadn't been a numbers runner for Doyle Lonigan, it would have been perfect. Now, I figure you're into the score was at least three Gs. I want two, no matter what it was. He wants a piece of it, too. Yeah. But he doesn't have any money. Yeah. A smart egg, hooker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a rotten egg, eh? I thought you blew all your money. Stuff I gave him is counterfeit. They'll spot it the first place he tries to spend it. Counterfeit money? Yeah. Oh, you're in trouble. What happened? Loser! <gasps> they oh, came to him. I think they came to him, my aunt. They no. threw him off, off the freaking window. Or he jumped. No, of course not. Eh? They, they threw him. See, there was a big fight, man. And he wanted out, you know? <laughs> So Snyder is a police and he knows that he was the one who took the money but he wanted money. Yeah man, but now they give counterfeit money, it's gonna mm. be in trouble. Yeah, even more mad at yeah. him. The setup. The setup. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a guy named Henry Gondorf. Uh -huh. Are you hooking? Yeah. Hello? She knows him. This Henry guy is supposed to teach him the, the con con or something. Mm -hmm. huh? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, what is it? Under the Under bed? Under the bed? <laughs> oh, Look at him. The great Henry Gondorf. Luther said I could learn something from you. Sorry about Luther. Best street worker I ever saw. Maybe he's gonna make a more drink? for a drink, yeah. Is Lonigan after you too? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I ain't seen anybody. You never do, kid. Oh. Oh, freaking! That's how. That's the way to wake up. Yeah, like a like very cold. They staked out the other guy's place last night, but he never showed. They figure maybe he uh, skipped town. Mm, they're like mobs, no? Yeah, man. So he's the he's the big man. Mm-hmm. Listen, Gondorf, am I going to learn to play the big con or not? I want to play for Lonigan. You know anything about the guy? Yeah, he croaked yes. Luther. Anything else I got to know? I don't think it's a good idea to go after that guy. Mm -hmm. Can't do it alone, you know. You're scared of him. Right down to my socks, Buster. You're going to go for him. Luther said you learn fast. I hope he's right. <laughs> okay, new he's haircut. He's gonna fix his hair. Yeah. Oh, Whoa! With clean nails. Now we can call somebody right now. <laughs> with just that look. <laughs> okay, so this is like a, a haircut, that kind of movie, like a heist. Something <laughs> like that. Heist. To 
Let's see if somebody opened it. Lonegan gets most of his income from the numbers, even though he's been putting more and more money into his savings and loan business. These are two of Combs' favorite torpedoes, Riley and Cole. You ever seen them? No. They're the ones who hit Luther. They also got the numbers runner you conned. A guy named Matola. Found him in a quarry with a knife in his eye. What? They killed him. He's vindictive as hell, Henry. Kills for pride. Why is it like a blow up bar? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, You're the owner here? That's right. Tennis Snyder, Bunko. Looking for a guy on the land from a counterfeiting rap. I thought he might have come in here. I don't think so. I know everyone in the place, and I always bounce the lamsters. All right, if I look around in here? I don't know what to do with this guy, Henry. He's an Irishman who doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and doesn't chase names. Does he do anything where he's not alone? Just poker. Mm, poker. Oh, and he cheats. Hello! It's coming. If he doesn't go to that room. Which way are the rooms? Mm, right through there. But I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What are you going to do? Call the cops? I don't have to. You'll be busting in on the chief of police just up the hall. <laughs> uh huh. That's a good one. Is she just yeah, yeah. lying about it or? I don't know. All right. We'll give Lonigan the hook on the train and play him here. JJ, you think I can get that poker game? All you gotta do is show up with a lot of money and look like a sucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> so easy then. The hook. Okay, so they're planning it. How's it look, Eddie? Well, looks all right, kid. Big enough, then it's off the street. Oh, like Last time I expect to see you down here. Never heard of a place. Oh, man. So they're setting up a place for him to come to gamble, no? I guess so. But how are they gonna convince the guy to play? They have an idea. You wanna see me? I hear there's a friendly poker game in this train. You know anything about it? Okay. Let's see what I can do. See, so he has to show himself that he's. Has money. Man, they're spending a lot for this. Yeah, like an uh, investment. Gundorf is setting up a wire store on the north side. I'm gonna need a 20-man boost right away. Lace. This is a tough one, Dookie. These boys have got to be the quill. Give me the sheet. Okay. 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 Don't tell me that freaking police again. Oh, you see him again? Oh boy. Oh, he found that guy. Hey, you see that friend of yours lately? No, no, he uh, packed it in. Enrolled in detective school. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. He still wants his 2,000. Yeah, he's a corrupt cop. That son of a bitch. So well, many. He's in the guys outside. Should give you 30 or more to choose from. Good, Dookie. If this thing blows up, remember I can't tell you no good downtown. Gandalf is federal. Dookie, mm. if this thing blows up, the feds will be the least of our problems. Yeah, they will die before yeah. the feds. He usually plays with a tally ho fan or a tally ho circle. I got you one of each. He likes to cold deck low, eights or nines. Mm -hmm. He knows a lot of stuff. See, he gets extra cards. They're gonna hide them under sleeves or something. When you need an extra card, you just add it. Is that him, no? Oh, yeah. Doyle Lonegan. He's limping a little, you know? That's him. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Billy. <laughs> she took something. Yeah. He's waiting for you in the card room. Let him wait. Whoa, what is that? But he doesn't have money to bet. That guy, Doyle, Marianne, because they took his yeah. money. Hola. Whoa! Hola. This guy is next level, man. Okay, I like this. Oh, uh -oh. he missed it up. You just worry about your own kid. If we ever get to it. <laughs> yeah. Hola. Always drink gin with a mark, kid. He can't tell if you cut it. Sorry I'm late, guys. I was taking a crap. My name's Shaw. But they do be like a little drunk. How much would you like, Mr. Shaw? Oh, I'll start with 5,000. And the guy's looking at you. Mr. Shaw, we usually require a tie at this table. If you don't have one, we can get you one. 
Hey, that'd be real nice of you, Mr. Lyman. What the? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> when they're setting up their base <laughs> of operation. Yeah, look at that. I don't know how poker. I don't know how to understand it. Three ten. Has two. Uh, three pairs. Three pairs. Three. <laughs> like you want yeah, yeah, he did. Lonnie Han. Lonnie Han. <laughs> Name's Lonigan. Dial Lonigan. You're so mad at him, man. Yeah. Because he's, he's winning. Okay. Name is Joe Erie. That guy. Ah. I never played no big con before, but uh, Luther Coleman was a friend of mine, and I thought maybe there'd be something I could do. Get that nose in Duke Boudreaux's tonight? Yeah. You got Moxie Erie. Get yourself a suit. Okay. They give him a tie. <laughs> yeah. All red, queen high. Man. Uh, this is me. Don't worry about it, pal. Well, I have Mr. a bad Clayton, feeling about this. Take a break for five minutes. Tempers seem oh. to be running a little high. Oh, come on, Linneman. I just starting to do good. <laughs> Little <laughs> 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 Smear that crazy nine, so I'll cut it in on Clayton's deal. Mmm, he's cheating. Mm. Uh huh. One, Ooh. three, six. Ooh. Ooh, he has four of a kind. <laughs> Nine. Oh, he has nine. Ah, see? And what does it mean? He has four of a kind of nines. He's so bigger what? than three. Ah, and he's gonna bet. Mr. Clements, give me $10,000 more. He's gonna bet everything. Oh, he doesn't have the money. Four nines. Four jacks. Four jacks? How the heck he, he got changed, four jacks? He changed the trees. He changed the trees. How the heck he did that? He, he lost. Changed, he changed the trees. He me 15 grand, pal. How the heck? He just doing the other Remember he has that? his own cards? I know, but how? He moved his cards. Man, he's so mad. Must have left my lot in my room. Don't hand me any of that crap. I'll send a boy around to your room in five minutes. You better have the money or it's going to be all around Chicago that you're welched. Yeah, you got so much money. <laughs> man, he's acting like a mob, man. We can't let him get away with that. What was I supposed to do? Call him for teaching better than me in front of the others? Oh, yes. They could not do that. You cannot call someone a liar when you're lying. Name's Kelly. Shaw sent me. Your boss is quite a card player, Mr. Kelly. How does he do it? He cheats. Here's your wallet. You hired a dame to take it from you. Shaw's been planning to beat your game for months. He's just been waiting for you to cheat him so he could clip you. Oh, so this old part of it. Get another goddamn son of a bitch. So we'll dump him in the what? Tunnel we hit. Doyle, we're going to be in the station in a couple of minutes. What do you think Shaw would do to me if he knew I was telling you this? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good guy. Uh -huh. I want to take over his operation, and I need you to help me break him. Uh -huh. I'm giving you a lift home. Fala. You fala. I like it when he says you fala. Yeah. I'll be at Klein's Drugstore, 660 South Marshall, at 1.30, if you're interested. If I'm not there by quarter to two, I'm not coming. Okay. Okay. Got him by the hook. This is the hook, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh. Someone got inside. Ooh. How the heck they found him? I don't know. I mean, that's a good, was good to put that tiny paper there. You should do that there. to my door. <laughs> you should oh, do that look to at him! Door. Yeah, he's so smart. They don't know. The tail. The tail. Hello, Doyle. All right, Riley, what the hell happened? There was no way he could have known we was in that room. Somebody must have wised him up. But Selena oh. onto it. 
Solino. Why waste our best people on a small time job? And he was just talking to that grifter that he wants to be caught, Maria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, at the pharmacy. They're supposed to meet, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. But everything looks legit, man. Yeah, only just to con that guy. Came. Someone else came. His man, one of his men. Kelly? Oh! He was already there. What the heck? Sometime after two o'clock, a guy's gonna call on that phone there and give you the name of a horse. All you gotta do is take this two grand across the street and down the alley to Shaw's place and bet it on that pony. They'll not bribe him with a $2,000 bet. This is just a test. The big one comes later. Okay. Do you think he suspects anything? I don't know. Yeah. Blown out to win in the fourth race at Narragansett. He's going to their place. Man, they make that place so nice. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen everything. I know. He's got his apes with him. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. I'm tired of losing, Harrigan. Harrigan, I $2,000 to win for a fresh Narragan. Make sure you see the cash, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. And Burroughs wins it by a nose. Lady Highgloss is second by three. Both those garbage men belong to you. Well, get them out of here and don't bring them back. This is a class joint. Run those bums out of here. Uh, Mr. Shaw, could I... Don't give me any of your lip, kid. Many place so nice, man. Ooh, he could be a mobster. <laughs> ah, the It's gonna come okay. back again. We're waiting on that next. <laughs> Look at that. That's it. Imagine, imagine if that guy comes in now. It's like, oh, I forgot something. Position back to your position. We're going to put down 400 grand next week. At five to one odds, that's two million. I got a partner downtown. And he runs the central office of the Western Union. Your setup's as good as you said. There's, there's plenty more to come. I decide when to place the bets. Not if you want me to keep making them for you. You've been waiting a long time for this, Kelly. Don't ruin it for yourself. I'll pick you up tomorrow at three. You follow? <laughs> you follow? I like it when he says this. Man, if that Lonigan only only knows he, he, they're the guy that he's looking for. Yeah. The grifter. Oh, no. Someone's this? following him. Oh. oh, this guy. That guy. You found him. Uh. Oh, that's nice. Ah, you're just chasing him because you have the 2,000. Yeah. We didn't give this guy 2,000 to get rid of it. Man, he's fast, man. Good job. Man, that guy is really into him, man. <laughs> it's good to be skinny, man. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna jump also? Oh, he got away. <laughs> yeah, that was close. I thought I'd lost it. Well, you found him again, and we're gonna have to do something about it. You know how easy it would be for one of Lonigan's guys to get you? Ray, all we need is a couple of days, and we can get the son of a bitch and nail him. The wire. So the game, this is it. The big bet. What do you have? Give me the uh, blue plate special. A three he needs to be someone. Yeah. Ah, because he said he has a friend at Western Union, right? Hey, where's June? She quit. Keep it. Excuse us, man. We're, we're looking for Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Harmon's office. Where to? 110 South Wabash. 110 South Wabash, get gone. Signed it, all right. I can't understand why he didn't tell me. 
Now, if you want to sit in here with a tarp over your head, you're welcome to it. All right. How long will you be? He here? wants him to go. The most, a small job. So they can pretend to be one of the guy that he knows. Wow. <laughs> Man, come out of here. It's their office now. Yeah. Well, it was like a last minute setup, you know? They didn't have much time. Hi, Les. Uh, Les, this is Doyle Lonigan. Mr. Lonigan, this is Les Harmon. Kelly, I'm having a place painted. We can't talk in here now. Oh. Well, we'll have to find someplace else. Excuse me, Mr. Lonigan. Ms. Barnes. I'm going home a little early. Look, if there are any calls, tell them they can reach me here tomorrow morning. <laughs> they just get them out of the freaking place. <laughs> Boom. The world. I want to see it one more time. I can't do it. We've got telegraph inspectors all over the place. If it works again tomorrow, I'll finance the whole thing. What are you talking? I told you we already got a guy. He's going to give us half. He's right, Les. Your guy says a week. How do we know it won't be a month? You can't keep going into Shaw's place and cleaning up on long shots. He's bound to get wise. I'll go for short odds. But it's still your fella. Yep. You fall off. <laughs> That's it. That's that is that is his ending. Yeah. Word. You Lieutenant uh -oh. William Snyder? FBI. Uh, the FBI. Special Agent Polk would like a few words with you. What is this? I got work to do. Sit down and shut up, will you? Are these trying to find that um Gordo? We've been told you know a hustle artist named Johnny Hooker. He's chumming around with a big C named Henry Gondor. Well, there's word he's going to run a con on the south side here. He can beat it in court unless we catch him cold. Oh, they want to catch him. Oh, no. Do is pick up Hooker for us. We're not going to tell the police we're here. You keep your mouth shut and do a job. There'll be some oh. reward books in it for you. What the hell good is Hooker to you? He's going to set up Gondor for us. So maybe, that will, maybe the police guy will, the... you know, get on with the con. I mean, play yeah. with the con. Okay. He's there. Let's get on it. Everybody. You can forget the boot, Eddie. Look at that. If that that everything is empty. One, we can't that. Here we go, Henry. We've got a three to one in Belmont. Wrecking crew. Yeah. In the six races, Belmont. Wrecking crew to win. Black mischief to place. Which way to show? Okay. Oh, is that bringing his goons? <laughs> He's going by himself? Yeah. The weather's threatening, but the track is fast there in Salem, New Hampshire. Could you hurry it up there, please? On the 6th of Belmont. And here we go for the 6th of Belmont. Now. Six races, Belmont, 15 Excuse me, sir. Chief Yeoman, we can't take any bets once the race is started. Yeah, they want him to delay it. That's why he never managed to bet. Well, I didn't have to bet down in time. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was part of the plan. Wrecking crew wins it by six lengths. Black mischief is second by head. But he still gets the to see that he was uh, about right. to win. So he didn't get to bet this time. <laughs> yeah, but he I saw that they win. Sure, I get to the window this time. How the hell am I gonna do that? I don't know. Figure it out for yourself, Kelly. Ah, oh, so they want to make sure that he's gonna bet the five hundred because that's their money. Yeah, I know. They're, They're gonna, gonna take everything from. <laughs> yeah. But don't forget about the feds. Freaking feds. And that <sighs> guy that Lunigan hired to find him. Yeah. Say, what time you get off work here? Two a.m. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sleeping. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. You got a back door to this place? What's wrong with the Look, front? I don't have time to mess around. There's a guy there. I don't need to see. Now look, do me a favor. Go into the bathroom, open the window, and wait there. Okay. Man, all Thanks, right. Night. He still went on the front. Think they're the FBI? It's taken. <laughs> you lost him. That was smart. <gasps> wow, that oh, was so stupid of me. We him. could have waited. Yes, exactly. That guy will not go inside anymore. Uh oh, it's a dead end. Like a ghost. Selena. Uh -oh. Hey, I was Ah! <gasps> who who killed him? him? <gasps> he was there. Hey! Gotcha. What? Mmm. Hey, There's a long time no see. I think he wants also some money from the from the con box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's you see know what he's gonna he do. Is. 
I'm not gonna turn you to the FBI. I need 5,000. Maybe you're gonna give him holy shit <laughs> just to get out. Yeah, they did took him to the feds. Oh my goodness. But maybe the feds wants that guy, man. No, duh, obviously. I want to talk to you about Henry Gondor. Yeah, I don't think I know him. He ain't got nothing on me. Yeah? How about counterfeiting? Mm, the money that he gave him? I've got a tip that Gondorf is going to run a con on the south side here. We come in at the sting, make the pinch, and... Ah, the sting. You walk out free as a bird. No. Okay. That's they the want his wanted. partner. Yeah, they didn't know I they thought they said... want that other guy. The oh. bad one. That wife of Luther Coleman, Snyder. What was her name? Alva. Snyder's given us quite a folder on her. Nothing major by itself, but to uh, put them all together, it could add up to a lot of years. What? Why would they do that? Though? If you're too dumb to save yourself, there's no sense dragging her down with you. He will take the deal. And it's so hard for him. Mm -hmm. It's over, Hooker. But I'm going to get Henry Gondorf, whether you help me out or not. Wait till the chump is played. Hell yes. But you try to take it on the lamb, and we'll shoot you down on sight. As long as I get to finish the play. Okay, see, he took the, the deal. This, he, yeah, he want. they want the they well, want you're him. Not saying much. Just got the jumps, that's all. You think he's gonna tell him? I don't know. He's gonna blow up everything if he's gonna do that. How many guys you conned in your life? Mm -hmm. I don't know, two, three hundred. Wow. Man. Hey, I wouldn't ask you to do this, you know, if it weren't for Luther. Nothing's gonna make up for Luther. Then why are you doing it? Seems worthwhile, doesn't it? <gasps> he's enjoying it. That's why he's doing it. Yeah, I guess so. He cannot live without it, I guess. Because he's very good at it, man. Mm-hmm. They put him somewhere and he will do the freaking job. Waiting for the girl. Oh, she lives up. At least nobody's following him now. Except the Lonigan's man. Maybe if the feds uh, shot Salino. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm hmm. Was wondering if you might want to come out for a while, maybe have a drink or something. I don't even know you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like you. It's two in the morning and I don't know nobody. Come on in, we knock off. You can not feel something. Can. About what? I don't know. About the um, what's his name? The died Luther? See someone is watching him like that's uh Sally, that's um Lonigan's man ba. Mm. Oh finally the sting this is what we're Dun -dun -dun. waiting for. Wait a minute. Huh? What? It's all fake. She's fake. I don't know. Did he got played? I don't know. Maybe she is supposed to be the one, the killer. What's this? Look at that. Silencer. It's not a silencer, it's just a barrel. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, I thought a revolver I knew. cannot have a silencer. I thought I knew what I was saying there. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, yummy. Yummy. <laughs> he did put a silencer. See, she's not there anymore. Where the heck is she? I don't know. No clothes, no nothing. What is that? I don't know. What the heck would I know? Yeah, Hoke. Mm -hmm. Hoke, this is Hooker. You ready? There'll be a guy or two at the door, but nobody's carrying any heaters, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, see you there. Maybe he has a plan as well. Yeah, he has have to feeling. have another have plan. Feeling. Oh, there she is. Yeah. What? What? Shot her! Oh my goodness! What? She was gonna kill you, kid. 
Her name's Loretta Salino. Oh, <gasps> she's Salino? So he's the FBI trying to protect yeah. her from Lonigan's men. Uh, Did I not tell you? I was right. I was fucking right. Do not use the F word. Freaking right. Who are you? FBI? Gondorf asked me to look after you. A Gondorf. Uh, ah! And now it gives him even more reason to save him. From the FBI. Man, that lady was deadly. We just got a tip that Gondorf's mark is some big New York wheel. As soon as we're inside, you get him out of there. Who's the tipper? I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe they're playing us. That's what they are doing. They're playing us. Playing you. Not me. I'm just a spectator. <laughs> no. I, and what? I am a player? <laughs> the worst. <laughs> he thought he's dead. Yeah. You save your freaking ass. Yeah, man. Man, but so accurate from that far no. boom in the head. <laughs> Go, guys. Pretend. <laughs> Oh, but he doesn't know that the FBI is on him. Uh-huh. To be cold. Place it on Lucky Dan. Third race at Riverside Park. Lucky Dan. Here at the post. At Harvey de Gras, the winner, Light Chatter. $500,000 to win. Happy hostess. Lucky Dan. Third race at Riverside. Hold on, sir. Get the manager. Bet like that could break us. What are the odds? Four to one. Take all of it. Ooh. It's been raining and the track is muddy. The flag is up. And uh, they're off and running. Dreamer by one, followed by... Sorry, they couldn't wait. Everything going all right? Around the you got nothing to worry about. Half a million dollars to win. To win. He said, please. Please, and I'm lucky. The police came. Oh my! Game over. Game over, folks. Hello, Henry. It's been a long time. Okay, kid, you can go. Man, the betrayal. You shot him! Oh, freaking goodness! He's dead. He's dead! Get him out! Come Gotta get you out of here! Come on! Put my money in there! There's a couple of dead guys in there, too. You can't get mixed up in that. He's gone. He was part of the whole freaking plan! This is the act! There is oh no, no feds! There is no feds! Even freaking Snyder! The betrayal is all fake! There is no betrayal! Marty just gone! Freaking! Log, log, and blah, Oh, his name I got is. chills over my body right now! Wow! <laughs> I thought you were the feds myself when you came in. No trouble, Henry. Snyder went for it all the way. Ah, oh, Snyder doesn't know. He's not part of it. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> he played. They played him so badly. You're right. It's not enough. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up your splits from Eddie and Boudreaux. Five hundred thousand, but they have. But there's a lot of people. They have to split the oh, money. Oh yeah, I know. But still, there's a lot for them. For even two thousand is big enough. But when yeah. they said, you're not gonna stick around for your share. Only blow it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna only blow it. <laughs> because he has this kind of odds against him. And uh, now I can say game over, man. But maybe uh, wait. His friend. Only the woman, though, was quite sad because he kind of, you know, for fell drawn, for her. Though, yeah. Uh, oh, it's the end. That's it. It's yes, the end. I love it because I don't want any more. Any more? No, <laughs> yeah. no. Don't touch this gem. Yeah. Leave it. <laughs> leave it like leave that. It. Leave it. Leave it. It's too furnished. Game freaking over. Oh, ah. That was amazing. I enjoyed ah. it so badly. <laughs> man, that they played us. They played yeah, us. You know that, especially the 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 FBI um addition there. The add-on was. Nah. Perfect at us. the top because 
I really thought the FBI when, when, was. Remember when I said what, uh, when they get in the car, yeah. they were going to bed. Yeah. I think they're playing us, and they're, no, you're being played. I'm just a spectator. Yeah, I remember what I said. I was right. But, I was but right. you did not. But get, I was right. But you did not but guess right. the freaking. But I was right. <laughs> they played us. They didn't they get. They didn't us. get the freaking FBI was not real. They played us. I like it though that they played Snyder also. Ooh, this those kind Snyder, of movies. Snyder, but the guy, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he really thought he just was. Just take him out. Just take him out. Get out of here. Just the dead bodies in there. <laughs> no, he was afraid because yeah. someone, did, somebody died. It was so real, everything. You, like you know, I was shocked. Ooh, that was so but amazing. then when I was like, "No, oh, don't tell me." <laughs> when the when Doyle but went there and uh, five and a half a million to win. Yeah. And he he, he he became too cocky, Bob. Right. He said, I, "I didn't put it to win. I put it to be second. And to place, to place only. Oh, to place second, yeah. And then I was like, oh, give me my money, my money back. This is a big mistake.' Man, this is a gem, you know. This movie, The Ooh. Sting. I really enjoyed it. Okay, Thank that was you. good. That Thank was you, good. Heidi. I think well, our patrons uh, surely wants us to watch this yeah. one. And well, that was good, man. That was really good. That was good. And especially door. I like when he said, "You follow." Yeah, fa- so many times. You follow. <laughs> you follow. <laughs> You follow? We follow. Follow. You, you follow. follow? We. We says we. We follow. I think so. We follow. Maybe that is, is that a, like a <laughs> meme? Is that like an iconic scene to say we follow? Because I think I've heard of that. Yeah. Okay, guys. Like, that, like the other ones that we watch, like, you know, the, the forget about it. You know, forget about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, when I think about it, this film. I mean, the story itself, but they had to spend a lot of money to set, to make, to to set up, especially yeah, the place where exactly. they played, plus that police, the exactly, FBI exactly, thingy, exactly. right? I've seen, because uh, I want I want to add something, this is, just came to my head. Wow. Like, the, the movie is so nice, it's like, I, pff, no words, yeah. right? But I've seen this documentary on those people that are actually doing something like this. It's not like this big, but who knows, maybe they do. There is some people who does, like, pretend to be police with car and everything and they just go through people and confiscate their goods man like you know to the to the drug dealers they just bust them in but the small timers uh there was a guy that i've seen this documentary i i forgot which whatever it was he goes into a coffee like very like expensive like luxury coffee shop like you know like a bar he orders a coffee right mm-hmm. a coffee was like you know, big amount compared to the rest of the normal restaurants. And he gives a big tip to the to the freaking uh, waiter, waiter, whatever. And then he's asking after a while, because uh, he gave the tip first. And then it was like, yeah, oh, okay, thank you. No, Because no, he found the table. And then the guy said, okay, like give him a note. Like, oh, I paid you already. Like, you know. He was like, what? You just give me the tip. What? No, I paid you. And then he sh- starts shouting, calls the manager. The, the freaking, that was a very expensive. Imagine this one night full of people. It was like around freaking like a lot of thousand euros, mm-hmm. you know, spent. And the manager gave him like, you know, some money in the pocket. Just be quiet and just go. I don't want you to ruin the... See? When this it happens this, in real life, yeah, something like this. Yeah, it does happen. Man. Even those those scams are like or this. the classic scams, ones. Scams, but scams. Yeah, yeah, they're or like the, or the or the classic ones when you're uh, throwing yourself to the vehicle. Oh. Of course, you're risking your life, man. Yeah. Or uh, no, when no. you pass a very uh, a rich person and you have like a dog, you do like that with the feet, and they bite your feet. Ah, oh, look what your dog did. Yeah, of course. But this one. This is one was really next level, man. man. Only just to get that this guy. One. Yeah. The first part when they Oof. did in the train, that was kind of cool, right? If something like this really happens in real life, I'm like blown I'm, apart. I'm, gonna jo- I'm blown apart. <laughs> I'm going to join. But it looks so legit, man. Oh, of course, it's not, really, everything. it's not really hard for them to do it because it's a movie after all, right? Yeah. You're playing. I know. But it's good after all. Well, anyway, we good. enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, I would recommend to two people to watch because yes. they haven't. And if you want to see the full reaction of guys, you can always go visit our Patreon. We have yeah. so many movies there. Exactly. Till next time. Bye-bye.